damage! We have to! We're almost there! Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. that all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Ruven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. 
Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Don Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Valen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. <laughs>